everyone. <laughs> Good evening, mortals. How is everyone doing? Oh my god, I just realized you can see my real background. <laughs> okay, there. Done. Problem solved. Hello! How's it going? <laughs> I'm not late, you're late. Welcome to Rib World. Look, I fixed everything. Hey! Almost everything. Hey! Anyway, uh... <laughs> Uh, yep, nailed it, Lavana. Everything got loaded eventually. I'm a streamer. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hey, T. Hey, Moose. Hello, Lavana. Uh, hello, M. <laughs> no, right? Right, Moose? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been doing this for two years. I'm a professional. <laughs> All right, so, guys. Good news, bad news. Uh, do you want the good news first or the bad news first? I'll wait a sec. <sighs> Alright, too bad. Bad news first. <clears throat> Here's my mods list. As you can see, they're downloading. I need to fix your face. Sorry, chat. Your face is broken. There you go. Um, so, I don't have Twitch Toolkit, unfortunately. I will have it tomorrow, but I don't have it today, which actually kind of works for what I had planned, which was to do a colony where we build it up on day one, and then on day two, I turn on maximum chaos Twitch toolkit mode, and we see what happens. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to play RimWorld with the new Sanguophage, which such a weird way to say bloodsucker. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get into that. I'm extremely excited for this. Uh, so we're gonna do Randy Random, Strive to Survive, uh, Commitment Mode, of course. Uh, all right. Anyone have a good seed? Anyone have a have a good seed they wanna what they wanna provide? Anyone wanna seed this stream? Shouldn't phrase it like that, probably. Um, let me just, uh, there we go. Uh, going once, going twice, going three times. <laughs> All right, it is. <laughs> Generate. <laughs> oh, Abby, you're a treat. All right, um, where should we live? So, here's the thing. We want to live in a mountain. Preferably somewhere close to a... Where we could get raided a lot. So, like, right here, basically. So, let's live right here. Uh, wait, right there? Or... Yeah, there's lots of hostels in the area. It's, uh... Nice and temperate here. Growing period of 40 or 60 days. Yeah, this is good. Let's do it. Uh, the area is near polluted tiles. Never mind. What? There's polluted tiles? Huh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, how about... Are you hostile? No. <laughs> Pathetic. Um, <coughs> these guys look pretty hostile. What about right here? Pollution extreme. Okay, maybe not. Uh, mountains where I can give you bears. <laughs> All right, Moose, I have bad news for you, though. You can't give bears, uh, tonight. It won't work. Um, but tomorrow you will. Yeah, exactly, Levon. I haven't even live in desert next to salt water. What? Why? Why would I want to... No, that's horrible for... You cannot land on impassable mountains. Okay, so we need slightly less mountainy mountains. I am trying to listen to you, Moose. I am. Um, like... Large hills. That's not good enough. Um, uh, maybe... Bum, 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 bum. Maybe... Are these polluted? Yes. Very polluted. That's very polluted. 
about over here. Those are polluted way over there, but if I live somewhere like there, that's good. So maybe like here? Yeah, perfect. And they're hostile right there. Nice. Do it. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that inactive, uh, and then we'll go next. All right, so here's how this works. We get two, uh, <laughs> no bears were leaving. I'm sorry, Moose. Um, <clears throat> we get two, uh, colonists with this. We get a sanguophage, uh, who is time, ageless, deathless superhumans. Uh, which seems, yeah. Okay, this one is iron-willed, pretty, and a fast walker, incapable of caring, checks out, plant work, that sucks, and artistry. All right, that's fine. Um, they can eat blood, coagulate healing, implant genes to make someone, oh, it to convert, long jump, and piercing spine. Fun. All right, what are your skills? Melee, love that. Intellectual, you know what? This is perfect. We're gonna take this one. Uh, and we're gonna name, <laughs> make a swarm of vectors. There isn't that tonight, uh, unfortunately. I know, I know, I know. Uh, we're gonna, this person's name is gonna be, hang on, can we change their, uh, oh, we can't change their stuff because we don't have um, the thingy. So, this is who we got. Vicky and Vivian, uh, kinda, kinda suck, though. Um, yeah, no. Alright, uh, Garadon, medical and social at the wazoo. Pass. Um, hearing loss in both ears and frail. Pass. We need someone who's healthy. No reason. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so my son uh, is is the person who uh, is in charge, and this person will be named Badger in a trench coat. You got it. Um, I don't know, Moose. Uh, this is the first time I'm booting up this uh, this month this uh, DLC, so we're gonna see what happens. Um, let's see, cooking, mining, construction. You know, this works. Sure. We're low on plants and medical. Oh, we probably need someone who's good at medical. <sighs> oh. Yeah, fuck it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Start. Wait, fuck. I forgot to rename the person. We'll rename them when we get in. <clears throat> when a dark stranger offered you a cure for your cancer, you were ready to agree to anything. He made you into a sanguophage, an immortal blood drinker hated by a thousand religions. You hid your condition for years, but a hunter eventually tracked you down. Stowing away on the first starship leaving the system, you barely escaped alive. Then came the crash. Only a few made it to the escape pods. You land on an unknown rim world and find you're not alone. What will you do for the blood you need to survive? Hmm. Um, no, T, I'm a sanguophage, which is a completely different thing. Has nothing to do with being a vampire, actually. I can see how you could get the two confused, but uh, sanguophages are actually based in uh, in um, uh, Arcotech, so like, it's it's an entirely different thing, is my point. All right, so very first thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set up a good schedule for them. Um, I don't want my food to do drugs, so don't. Um, I also need to make sure the schedule's good. So we'll do three hours of recreation, and then... Oh, wait a second. Three hours of recreation, and then a bunch of hours of work. Meanwhile, a bunch of hours of work, and sleep if you want it. There. Uh... No, no, oh my god. Guys, guys, I don't... I. I I can't, I only have two colonists, I can't, ah, jeez. Uh, Levada, maybe read the, uh, rules of the chat that you're in, please. Uh, alright, how do I rename you again? I think it's under, uh, 
Oh, you're queuing. Oh, okay, okay. Um, where's the rename button? Am I dumb? Am I just blind? Yes. Okay. Oh no, not you. I don't want to rename you. I want to rename you. Alright. Uh, your nickname is... What was it? It was Badgers in a Trench Coat? Uh, Badger in a Trench Coat. That won't fit. Uh, how about, how about, uh, Trench Coat Badger? Like that. Perfect. That fits. <laughs> so we've got my son and Trench Coat Badger. Yeah, I know, Lavon. It's okay. Um... Okay, now we need walls. Like that. And a door. Like so. Music is quite loud. Let's fix that. Is that better? That's better. Yeah, the music's very nice in this. I agree. All right, so colonists with the death rest gene must periodically regenerate themselves in a special coma called death rest. It takes several days. Special machines placed near the casket can give bonus to the death rester. A person can only connect to a limited number of machines. This number is shown by their death rest capacity. Okay. <clears throat> Fucking that rocket firefly guitar. Yeah. Uh. Some people have different genes for baseline humans. Okay. So, my son, how's your... What are your genes like? Uh, bio? Maybe? Where do I find the genes? Where are your genes at? Probably on your legs, I would assume. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, no, no, they're, they're set, this is a sanguophage, completely different. Uh, alright, so we got that going on, we got that going on. Let's get started. Uh, what else do we need? We need to place down some beds, so we'll do that right now. Nail down a couple sleeping spots, just like this. Um, and baby decoration? Oh yeah, you can get babies of this! What? Oh, yeah, you can get babies in RimWorld now. What? Yeah, wife, we could get have babies in RimWorld. That sounds a lot easier. What? That sounds a lot easier. Than real babies? Than real babies. Uh, probably. Do you want to have some RimWorld babies? Maybe. All right, noted. Uh, in bio abilities. Bio? Uh, ab abilities. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. That makes sense. Um, long jump. <clears throat> okay. Uh, hot take pirates greater than vampires. I mean, pirates are, are a real thing. And I don't know if I would, I would recommend, uh, you know, making them sound good because they're really not good people. Um, and vampires are not real. So, you know, interesting take. Uh, also, the music has ended. Everyone must suffer. We can paint buildings now? What? <gasps> we need paint. But you can paint buildings. That's huge. What are you doing? Meditating. All right. I'm going to need something to death rest in, too. Toy box for babies. Crib for babies. Oh, look at, what was that? Oh, no. <laughs> I got to turn those off. That's that's going to scare the bejesus out of me. And I'm not playing a game where that's a thing. Uh, thank you, T. Uh, fix that. Thank you for the bits, anonymous donator. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Alright, this one, this one, this one. 
Uh, let me move to Jorb Classic. Uh, all right. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, this one. Manage profile. Classic Jorb. I gotta update this this week. Okay, anyway. There you go. Uh, the other day you caught a squirrel coming into your house, so now you keep the sliding door closed. That makes sense. Sorry, Blackthorn, that's not enabled today. Um... That was the bad news. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Bits and Not Miss Donator. Ah! Uh, all right. Dumping stockpile. Wait. Did they change what good dirt looks like? No, that's bad dirt. Oh, there's stony soil now. Oh, so there's shitty soil? That's still good soil, right? Yeah, okay fascinating and that's mud so you can have shitty soil now uh, thank you Nick uh, for uh, for that uh, appreciate it that's very kind of you all right uh, let's assign work now manual priorities of course Firefight, patient, doctor, bed rest is up there, child care, interesting, uh, warden, instruction, smith, tailor, craft, research, uh, I'm gonna, yep, hauling and cleaning, um, cooking, uh, ooh, she sucks at growing. All right, that's okay. Growing, plant cutting, mining will be there. Okay, go. Okay, um, no, uh, Blackthorn. It's actually because I, um, my had to completely uninstall RimWorld and reinstall it for it to work. So I, I had to remove. Uh, none of my mods are loaded. <laughs> Aw, pollution. Hey, babies. Aw, bad soil. Hey, paint for the babies. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, it's likely uh, not updated. That's actually a good point. Child care should be handed off to tamed creatures. Let's just tame a rat. Uh, all right. So once we get this all mined out... Should make a stockpile zone inside so we can move all this crap inside. Yeah, bring that uh, hemogen pack in. I need it for reasons. Don't worry about it. Uh, we need more space for that, so more space you shall have. I'm going to install this harp. Uh, right here. All right. So we are going to need a new... Uh, we're going to need bedrooms soon. Yeah, and my son isn't going to do anything, are they? We'll put uh, mining very low for them. Um... Someone rebuilt it from the ground up for 1.4? Uh, is that Twitch Toolkit? So, we're gonna do this now. Um. Making another room, and then we will make some bedrooms off this way. Uh, five by five. And then we need to go down here. But I'm going to cancel this one so that they don't actually do that. Great. Done. <clears throat> yeah, I still need to download it, though. So um, just so you know, it, it's, it will happen. It's just not going to happen yet. All right, let's speed this shit up. Oh, this is max speed. Wow, my son is bad at mining. Did my son just eat food? 
Oh. They need to eat food. Hmm. Blood feed. That's good to know. Babies probably are pretty good miners. Actually, I think they're specifically stated in their description that they're useless. <clears throat> All right, trench coat badger. Don't worry. There's plenty of blood around. And as long as that is the case, I will never eat you. As long as that is the case. Um, I'm gonna make a growing zone. Where is the least shitty soil? Kind of right here. Um, we'll go a little 5x5 five five plot of... You know what? Potatoes. Potatoes are good. <clears throat> um, I don't know, Lavana. Uh, like I said, this is my first time playing this, uh... This DLC, I literally got it because uh, they're like, oh, we introduced genetics and babies. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's neat. I'll pick it up sometime. And vampires. And I was just like, <laughs> that was me pulling out my wallet in case that wasn't obvious. <laughs> All right. How are my son's needs? Um, pretty terrible, actually. That makes sense. Um, one of those things we could fix real easy, though. Hello like, there. Uh, hello. Um, yeah, this is before I found out they were sanguophages. So I feel pretty upset that I was, uh, lied to, you know? But it is what it is. Um. When you saw, yeah, literally, yeah, Nick, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, so I wanted to download it immediately, and I did, and I was like, oh, "It's Spooky Month too. This is perfect for Spooky Month." Yes, dearest. Ooh, wife looking cute. <laughs> <laughs> and doing a little goblin dance. Fucking love that lady. Uh, alright. Now we are... Uh, wife is often cute. If you say wife is always cute, then it denigrates the uh, hard work she often puts into her appearance. And while I personally find wife always beautiful, saying wife always looks cute is maybe not a good take. I don't know. It depends on her mood, really. Let's harvest some berries so we can harvest the trench coat badger. Uh, <laughs> I gotta. You gotta, T. I mean, you just gotta, ooh woo. You know how it is. You know how it be. You know how it do. Let's get these fucking rocks out of here. Let's get a uh, let's get a door in here, because then we can build some beds, which would be good. Where is the death bed? Is there a coffin? I need a coffin. Oh wait, research. Okay, hold up. In research, is there a coffin? Uh. Ba -ba -ba. Xenogenetics. Okay, that's a good sign. Water mill generator. I think that might be new. Fertility procedures. Create a test tube embryo from a fertile man and woman. Interesting. Um, basic mech tech. For your mechanator to create and control basic tier mechanoids. Okay. Tox gas. That's new. A gene processor. Um, bum, 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 bum. All of this is known. Growth vats are new. Construct growth vats which can gestate an embryo or accelerate a child's growth. Interesting. Arcogenetics. Okay. Um, circadian influence. Craft brain implants that chemically manipulate the circadian rhythm, reducing or altering the need to sleep. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything that's like death, sleep, boot, buffs, which is just too bad. I want them. Um, maybe there is, and it's just under something that I don't know, you know? <clears throat> oh, and they put in an egg box so that um, your your chickens will lay eggs in a specific area, which is just so needed and so lovely. Um really no thing for the stuff. Oh wait, biotech. There it is! Death rest casket. Hemo pump increases the amount of hemogen a death resting person can store in their body. Hemogen amplifier. They gain more hemogen from any hemogen source. Glucosoid pump. Move faster after death rest is complete. Psychofluid pump enhances the psychic sensitivity. Interesting. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's actually. Ooh, this is actually awesome. Because that's a whole bunch of real estate we have now. Hello, Aki. Unfortunately, the potato will not flow. Um. <clears throat> You see, uh, the, the, uh, the, the mod pack will not work right now, so you cannot make the potatoes flow. However, I will make sure that it, the potatoes are ready to flow tomorrow. I'd be ready now. <laughs> oh, you want to, you want people to see you, dear? No, no, no. Oh, I mean, okay. you were talking about potatoes, I'm like, I could be ready right now. No, I, I no you're tomorrow. not a potato wife. <laughs> The other one. Okay, I'll it looks cute. I like the room. It reminds me of something delicious. Ketchup! <laughs> no, you. silly! You! Ew. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, alright. Door. Go here. <laughs> Wait! Aki, did you see the name of the person- of the bot you just banned? Uh, okay, now we want bed. Oh, we don't have any wood. Let's get some wood. Chop wood. Wood chop. Um. Aki is just swinging that ban hammer. God damn. Now, I should be able to make a wood bed. Dark torch. Gonna slap one of them in here. Good, the dark torch. Um, we also need power, probably sooner rather than later. Might be a good idea. Wife says nah, but I still think we should. Uh, you're welcome, dearest. Uh, okay, so bed, that's good. We will assign... Oh, it's poor. Never mind. <coughs> we won't assign it yet. Uh, let's haul all this crap out. Oh! Trees leave stumps now. That's cool. Yeah, trees leave stumps, dear. Wife has no, like, barometer for how different that is. Wife has not played RimWorld, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, so... I'm kind of loving the wife comments on uh, new RimWorld features, though. It's pretty funny. All right, what's up with you, trench coat badger? Disturbed sleep, decent barrack, soaking wet, slept on the ground, slept outside, slept in the cold. You didn't sleep outside, you nasty bench.
You did sleep in the ground on the on the ground in the cold, though. That is true. But soon you'll have your own house, so fucking relax. Uh, let me cancel all this now that we know the shape of this place is different. This seems like the kind of place we'd want to put the the death casket, death sleep casket. So I think we will. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, everything's working today. That's so nice. I look over and like all of my shit is working. I can see my dumb face. It's beautiful. It's nice when things work. Yes. Mine, my son. Expand the nest. Meanwhile, Trenchcoat Badger just fucking ruining the environment one tree at a time. Also, much better miner than my son. Like, much better. It's not even close. Alright, what are we going to name... Uh, it looks like you'll be here for a while. Trenchcoat Badger thinks you should give your faction a name. What the, should the faction and the settlement be called? Alright, I'm looking to you, chat. I need you to pick something that gives people the sense that they won't be captured and eaten here. I need you to uh, pick something that's like a relaxing, sort of inviting sort of thing, you know? Something that really says... This place is totally safe and trustworthy, uh, so that people will come here so I can capture and eat them. What do you guys think? Aside from install Twitch Toolkit, anyway. Fat bears? All right, got it. The fat bears. And what is the name of the settlement, everyone? Death Pit. All right, great. The nice, inviting, relaxing town of Death Pit. Great, perfect, good. Okay. Welcome to the Fat Bear's Death Pit. That that doesn't seem very inviting. Guys, I feel like I said inviting. Didn't I? moved into this bed is normal guess what uh, build a copy of this over here deconstruct that one replace it with a regular torch uh, torch lamp goes in there this is going to get assigned to my son, the pariah. And Trenchcoat Badger, the drifter, will get that one. We'll clear that out. So this is going to be our workshop here. Um, I'm going to actually open up another section right here for... Um, let's do like this much. This is going to be kitchen and fridge. Why did you bash country music? I assume there's a reason. Some of it is good, sure. T is stinky. Well, I've only met T once, but T was not stinky when I met T. So, but that, that said, you've met T a lot more than I have, Moose. So, I guess T must be stinky. Moose has not met you? Oh, okay. In that case, nah, he's not stinky. 
Yeah, I, I do know that for a fact. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry guys. My son, you hungry? You're like pretty hungry. You're decade long internet friends, but you've not met. Huh. Oh, there's a bulk goods trader. Are you trading in blood? Just curious. You know, no pressure. Just want to know. Uh, how is my social skills? Six. Trench coat badgers four. So. I will go trade. Hello. Um. We could buy ducks. Why would we buy ducks? Ducks are free. Um. They won't buy my blood. That's good, actually. Uh, we could buy some medicine off them. I don't know that I want to. I don't think there's anything here I really want right now. No, there's nothing here I really want right now. All right, cancel. Go away. Unless you would like to stay for dinner. Nice. I have 69 Hemogen. Wait, what? You come to the conclusion that Nick and Moose are the same person, they just act alike. Hmm. That's, that seems like a faulty premise to, to base your, your judgment on there. Um, Counter-argument, everyone except you is Nick. Everyone. Um... Actually, this should be the starting workshop, because this could be the living room then. No, this should be the living room. That should be the starting workshop. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> we are Legion Nick is Hey, Shatter, good to see you. Nick is many. What have I done? What have I done? Uh, all right, we're going to reinstall this uh, over here. And this one is getting reinstalled over here. And this one is getting reinstalled bop, 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 right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> T wants out. T, you cannot leave. We are, we are all, we are everywhere. We are Nick. Haul that shit out of there. Uh, all right, so now... We are going to stockpile... Ooh, actually, better. We should actually make power first. Oh, but we need research. Okay, I immediately remember how to play Room Worlds. Seven things just popped off in my head. All right, uh, so first things first, we're going to need a research desk. There it is, which we will put right there. Um, we are going to build a copy of a chair, slap it down there. We are then going to build a uh, torch so we could get some light up in this bitch. Okay. Ti <laughs> Nick likes the Romans and I like the pirates, therefore we're completely different. Titus started a Stellaris game as a clone army with both species and empire name Nick. Uh, Nick, you need to expand your horizons. There's already a game. It's called... Uh, oh, fuck. What's it called? Dying Suns or something like that? I can't remember, but basically, there's a race called Horatio. It's just one guy and all of his clones, <laughs> and it is exactly what you're looking for. Uh, all right, there, we got research going. So we're going to immediately need batteries. Okay, T. I'll take your word for it. You're pro khakis? <laughs> How is that a bad thing? Alright, so we got that going. We're gonna want to slap down a fueled stove. Right. Mm, yeah. Then, we are going to... Uh, block this off like 
so no like so uh cancel that one we will also put a butcher table in here uh i did this wrong Oh, a butcher table in Mia. Uh, and we'll build a couple of these bad boys. I should actually do this better. Uh, the eternal Rimworld struggle. One there. Field stove, we will slap. Oh, that's worse. That's worse. We'll slap right there? Right there. Fuck it. Fuck it! This is not permanent. Like that. And then... Door... There. Door... There. Zone... Here. Wow, that's a really bad use of space. I could do that a lot better. Um, but I'm not going to. So... Uh, settings. Oop. We are going to mute chat so that I can't hear them anymore. Uh, I can't, I don't know what you guys are saying right now, so don't say anything bad, okay? Uh, don't need manufacturer, don't need raw resources, don't need items, weapons, apparels, buildings. We will take animal corpses as long as they are not insects, don't want insects. And we also, yeah, that that should be good. Um, I actually think, okay, hang on, some drugs we do want in there, yeah, yeah, but the rest we don't we don't care about. Um, great, don't allow rot. Okay, and then. We will copy the settings for this, paste them in here, and then just reverse them. So don't allow any corpses. <laughs> uh, turn off food, turn off drugs, turn on everything else. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Raw resources, items, weapons, peril, buildings, chunks, plants. No corpses in the storage room, please. There we go. All right. Eh. What the actual fuck did I come back to? Anything? Can, I know the nastiest vampire. Moose! How dare you? Abby, why feet stuff? What the fuck? What? Oh, God. Jesus Christ. What is wrong with you? Ah. Ah. Ah! I hate that so much! Ah! Abby, I do not like feet stuff. <laughs> I'm not flustered, I just don't like it! God fuck! Ah! <laughs> Why? Why you gotta do me like this, bruh? Good. Females are getting a psychic soothing. That's great. I think all of my colonists are female, so, yep. Great. Uh, it's a little hot out. It's 33 degrees, mother of God. That's really warm. Oh, God. Ah, <sighs> uh, thank you, Shatter. Oh god, that's the horrible Nick. I hate all of that. Oh wait, do I have chunks enabled here? I do, yeah. Let's turn off chunks. So we'll get them chunks out of here. We got we only have three meals left, so we should probably worry about that. Um cook vegetarian meal simple meal 
Uh, do until you have four, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Podatria, the land of feet. Ugh. Why? Why would anyone want... Okay, like, I understand some people are into that kind of thing, but, like, no. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> I love the idea of you spinning a wheel to pick your favorite. Uh, all right, smooth surface. We're going to smooth out the bedrooms. This way, uh, they'll be happier with their rooms. My son, when do you need death rest? Oh, in quite a while. Wow. Wait. You don't need... Do you need regular sleep, too? Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's pretty happy right now, though. Uh, Ambi, congratulations. You're T's favorite tonight. So far, this is pretty easy, guys. I gotta say... I guess I still have a lot of this, uh, this hemogen, though. Which reminds me, we should really set up a, uh, okay, hang on. Stonecutter's table. So that we can start making a prison. Uh, we're also going to take this and fill, butcher creature, do forever. Uh, apparently the areas of the brain that govern ambulation and sexual arousal. Yeah, 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 I do know, I do know about why people like the feats, but I don't. So, <laughs> uh, have a good one, Nick, Bethy, Sleepy, good. Ah, uh, yes, feeple. Ugh. <laughs> No, T, don't get on it, no. Um, I'm going to mine out some more space for the fridge. <laughs> Shorter than... Uh. I love that my son is specifically uh, working on this room when Trenchcoat Badger is trying to sleep. Don't worry. Smoothing out the floor with a chisel and pick is very quiet work. Uh, I am also going to have a stroke, uh, T, if we keep talking about feet. Uh, it's really not, <coughs> not my favorite thing, um, despite what Ambie may have told you. I just realized, how do we get, how do we get paint? Uh, um, I mean, I don't love it, but, like, I don't love most of the things that chat does to me, Shatter. This is, this is actually pretty much the same, uh, level of uncomf as normal. Uh, chop wood. If you have a stroke, it's content. If, so, if chat has a stroke, it's your next cancellation. Uh, true, yes. Uh, I'll apologize when I uh, feel like I've done something wrong. What up? Uh... <laughs> Moose, how dare you walk away from this non-stop gangbuster laugh uh, of a stream. Ancient storage cylinder? Can I pop that open? What happens if he deconstruct that? Do you get stuff? What? What? <laughs> um, okay. I'll say this one time. Shatter, that is legitimately not my one of my kinks. Uh, I am not a masochist, believe it or not. But I also don't want to give up personal information on stream, so fuck out of here. 
What happens if I bust this open? Nothing. Good talk. Okay, Shatter. Cool. Good. Uh, uh. Do you know what's nice, guys? <laughs> oh no, Moose is screaming. Ah. Uh. <laughs> and my son is literally smoothing the rock next to Trenchcoat Badger's bed. <laughs> my son really wants Trenchcoat Badger to know that my son is right next to you and getting hungry. Mmm, yes. So let's see. For 20 Humogen, uh, they can quickly tend someone's root wounds. Oh, they can heal others. Oh. Interesting. That's actually kind of cool. Alright, now we have this. Let's make some sandstone blocks. We're going to make... I don't know, 11 of them should be enough to build our first prison. <laughs> you guys ready to start building p -p -p prison camps? Trench coat badger is just like, my son left their blood out again. They're so clumsy. Oh, we are out of food. Okay. Um. Let's go harvest some bushes. Harvest them bushes. Yeah, Trenchcoat Badger was hungry. At least my son isn't hungry. Trench coat badger, get more food, for soon we will need to feed. Trench coat badger keeps threatening to put away uh, meals, <coughs> but keeps shoving them up her butt. All right, we've put away one meal. That's good. That's a good start. How do you botch harvesting berries? Trenchcoat Badger's just like, give a berry. I should work on my background so I don't have to do the void thing. So you guys can uh, can uh, see when I do stuff like this. Uh, goals, I have so many goals. This stream is awesome, but it could be better could be better. It could be fun. It could be actually entertaining for a change. I have many goals. <laughs> well, the good news uh, about my son uh, constantly working in Trenchcoat Badger's room is Trenchcoat Badger's room is actually turning out pretty good. Yeah. Spacious interior. Initial hope. Comfortable. Eight without a table. Why? Oh, I know why. And hungry. Alright, well, hungry is going to get fixed in the morning. How's my son's needs? Uh, extremely low expectations. Yay! Oh, interesting. My son doesn't like being stuck indoors. Huh. I kind of would expect the opposite, really. Yes, my son. Go eat. Enjoy. Potatoes need to grow faster. We, uh, we need more patat. Things that make Aki instantly teleport behind you. We need more patat. So if you cut trees around the anima tree, um, it will, um, it w wait, a child named Berryman is crashing in a transport. 
Guys, there's there's a child here. He's sweaty. We, there's a small sweaty child with paralytic abasia and a wooden foot. Oh, and he's an enemy. Oh, and he's too smart for his own good. Oh, he might be a delicious kid. Well, anyway, we're going to watch him die. Wait, wait, wait. Let's strip his clothes off first. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, interesting. This dead raccoon is now, uh, like, making stink. Fascinating. A hunter from Kinship of Camborough is passing by. She's named Sarah Fugly Castro. Aren't we all named Fugly? Wait, did I just harvest some potato? Or did the alpacas do that? I think the alpacas are trampling our crops. Just a hunch. Hmm. Fuck out of here, alpacas. I didn't say sleep here, Alpaca. God damn it. Okay. Well. You try to make the put more. No, I'm not trying to make it a deep statement. It's just a true statement. Aren't we all in our own way fugly? She just fell off the top of the tree and hit every branch coming down. Uh, she fell out of the top of uh, the branch of the ugly tree, hit every branch on the way down, and then smashed her skull on the stupid rock for good measure. Okay. My son's just gonna have a little delicious snack. And then play the harp. That put you in a heart playing mood. Yeah, she's got full on cabin fever now. How do I get her to go out? Oh, I know how. You're recruited. Go over here. There you go. Still got cabin fever, but at least went outside for a sec. Uh, let's get some more furniture in these rooms, too. Uh, a child named Berryman is crashing. Berryman's already here. Hmm. He's willing to contribute once he's recovered, but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want Berryman, you could banish him, sell him into slavery, or leave him to die. Uh, goodbye. Sorry, Berryman the child. I think you're going to be dead. I could do something about it, and I'm actively choosing not to. That's why I took off all his pants and stuff. How's his health? He's got malnutrition. So that's, that's it, really. He's mostly fine. Sweaty, I guess. All right, um, where's that research at? Uh, my son is not prioritizing it. Bump construction down to two so that we prioritize research. Beggar wishes for aid. A poor traveler named Yakov is approaching looking for help. He's begging for 30 silver. He wants to pay the debt off. Um, sure. Where are you, Yakov? There's a heat wave coming. My son will give you the 30 silver you want. Now 
Now fuck off. It's 35 degrees Celsius outside, 36 degrees Celsius outside. That's too many degrees of Celsius. Um, that's quite warm, actually. It's now 40, which is even warmer. -er. All right, so now... We have a prison. Uh, we'll slap a bed in there. And a tiny ass table. Is there a tinier ass table? No, it's just that. Alright. Um, we'll slap a stool over here as well. There. That's what you fucking get. Wait, no, that won't work. It needs to be one bigger. Just one, but it needs to be one bigger. Um, so... Like that. Then we can uh, put this over here. We can change style. Basic morbid totemic... Wait. There's morbid? Can we change the style of already built things? No, it looks like it's not for everything. No, it's not for everything. Well, that's too bad. Okay. Um, we will also put in a lamp. Some floors. You'll get wood and you'll like it. And a door made of sandstone, because I'm a dickhead. There we go. Alright, it is almost 50 degrees Celsius outside. Holy shit. That's so hot. That's like ridiculous. Oh my god. I don't know how to describe how fucking warm that is. 51 degrees. Holy fuck. Fuck, we need some cooling. Um, do we have any... We can get some passive coolers going. That'd be good. Um, passive coolers for everyone. Also, our home is catching on fire, so that's great. 53 degrees. That is... Thank you. Oh, cool. And the rain has ended, so now it's just flames. Flames forever. Uh, please put out the fire. Okay, looks like it's getting put out. No, it's not. All right. Um, where am I home at? Yeet. Yeet. Oof. Bop. Make square. Square's good. Yes. Alright, go. Put out the fires, you fuck. Put out the fire at 52 degrees Celsius weather. Holy Christ. There's like no way these fires are gonna go out. It's way too hot. Yeah, my son just caught fire, so that's cool. Um, no, not the crops! Oh, fuck, god damn it! All oh, the potatoes! We need those! Okay, trash coat badger, go put out the fire over there. Fuck it, don't let the crops burn! Shit! Shit! Save the potatoes! Ah! Oh my god. There's so much fire! Save the fucking potatoes! Please, Badger! Oh, God! No! Badger! Potatoes! Save them! Ah, oh, fuck! And... Tip. Oh, Trenchcoat Badger was mad that they had to save the potatoes, so they wanted to have a widow tantrum. Uh, Alright, my son, please save the potatoes. 
Save the fucking potatoes, my son. So, okay, potatoes saved. Most of the rest of the world, not so much, but potatoes, though. Oh, god damn it. My son has pyrophobia. That checks out. All right, now we're going to try and... The square is getting baked into a salty cracker the size of... Yeah, it really is. Well, the heat wave has gone down to 41 degrees Celsius, so... You know, that's much cooler. Um, which is a statement I did not think I'd be making today. Yeah, isn't that nice? A, uh, a chilly 46 degrees Celsius right now. Oh, so lovely. Trenchcoat Badger, you're a dickhead. Badly malnourished. Oh, that could be why. Um, right, and all of the things we've been using for food just, just burned up in the fire. Cool. Great. Okay, well, there's some berry bushes around still. Not many, but some. Oh. Yep. All right, cool. Good. And just keep burning over that way. Uh, Trenchcoat Badger is going to starve. Um... Great. Good. You set your stove top to ball me when you want to cook eggs. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's got exhaustion? Uh, Trenchcoat Badger literally collapsed from exhaustion. I right, uh, go rescue Trenchcoat Badger. Um, I feel like the heat wave has not done Trenchcoat Badger many favors. Uh, extreme heat stroke. Fuck. And it's only getting worse. We might lose the trench coat badger to extreme heat stroke. Uh, I really need this fucking heat wave to end. Oh, this is terrible. All right. My son, um, congratulations. You can't be a doctor. Never mind. Fucking great. Uh, I guess you can't cut plants. Wow. We are so fucked. <laughs> Oh, God. Damn it. Well, we can make batteries now, so write that down, I guess. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, let's get some power going. Because power means we can get better temperature controls in place. Uh, which would be good. Um, where is it? It's, like, there? Yeah. Uh, and then power conduit running to there. There we go. Okay. Wait. Oh, cool. The Trenchcoat Badger destroyed their own room. Uh, they have 76% heat stroke. They're going to die from heat stroke. It's 40 degrees inside. It's 40, four zero degrees. Uh, and there's really nothing we can do about it. Um, no, we're just, we're going to lose Trenchcoat Badger. They're not going to wake up because the heat stroke is going to keep getting to them and the malnutrition will get to them shortly. And therefore they won't be able to get food. This run is over. I think we just lost guys. Uh, my son is also going to starve. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, delicious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Trenchco Badger didn't love getting fed on there. Uh, <laughs> they've got blood loss now. Uh, that'll go with their extreme malnutrition and heat stroke. Which, again, extreme. <laughs> but hey, at least my son had some food. Uh, sort of. 
That malnutrition is getting off the his house. Uh, yeah, there. Trench coat badger is about to be a corpse. Um, let's let's maybe uh, make a grave for a trench coat badger. Uh, oh, good, the heat wave just ended. Just now, the perfect time. Um, <laughs> we'll bury trench coat badger in a place that will really make them happy. The burned out husk of uh, of the field that was once green uh so that trench coat oh fuck. wait can my son hunt yes okay so where are those fucking alpacas that ruined my day uh female male 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 female male all right Hunt that fucking alpaca. We need food. Uh, you will also cook. <laughs> You're gonna have to do everything, my son. Cause, uh... Trench coat badger is... Dead. Alright, my son. Uh, could you... Um... Hmm... Let's see. Go work on that grave. Uh, and then, uh, bury trench coat badger. Um, I need you to stop researching, actually. In fact, I would really prefer that you, um... Go fucking... Wait, can I eat the alpaca? No, they have to target human. Okay. Uh, go knife the alpaca. Very good. Undraft. Uh, alright. Just consume the alpaca raw. That's good, I guess. Um, haul the alpaca. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. We're butchering the alpaca. We can make meals out of the alpaca. This is great. Good, we'll store it at... Oh, 20 degrees? That's the dream! Malnutrition's going down. That's wonderful. Um, colonists died, ate without table, slept in the heat, recreation unfilled. <coughs> My friend Trenchcoat Badger died. Oh, and I ate a corpse. Okay. My son is not having a good time. My son is praying. Oh, that's a... You know it's bad when... Uh, Sanguophage uh, is fucking praying. That's such a bad sign. Alright. So, guys, do we scrub this run and retry? Or why did you eat the raw food? My son, why did you eat the raw meat? Okay, anyway, do we scrub this run and retry? Or do we, uh, do we, oh, sorry about that. That's quite loud. Uh, turn that off. Turn that off. There it is. Uh, do we scrub the run or do we, uh, try and survive this? What do you guys think? My son over here building the prison because they know what's up. This is for prisoners. Oh, but we need to put the bricks in the wall. You'd say scrub. Okay. Anyone else want to vote?
Scrub it. All right. That's enough for me. Oh, yeah. There's absolutely no guarantee it won't immediately happen again. We'll try again, though. Uh, strive to survive. Commitment mode. Uh, anyone want to seed? Anyone want to seed the world? Hmm. Bean. Okay. Bean. Welcome to Bean. A lot of desert on Bean. Uh, ooh. Good mountainous region over here on Bean, though. How much pollution we looking at? None? Oh, this is perfect. Uh, never mind. That's close to pollution and therefore we'll get acidic fog every year. Um, maybe over here then? Mountainous? Yeah, that looks right. Great. Uh, next. So what do we got? Melee 17, medical 13. Oh, that is brilliant. I love that. We're keeping this. Uh, chemical fascination, though, don't love that, so we're going to randomize. That sucks. Uh, slow learner, pretty fast walker. Body purist, slow folk, pretty fast walker. Are they pretty and fast walker because they're sanguophages? That's interesting. Um, body purist. And careful shooter. Melee, construction, mining, cooking. That's fine. And then we've also got... Uh, howdy doody. What? Oh, hi, Ginger! How's it going, buddy? Um, okay, so there, we have some things already. We're gonna go... Grizzly Bear and Mistake. Alright, so... Uh, we got the Grizzly Bear... And, uh, mistake our researcher? Mistake our researcher. What are we missing? Mining. Medical. Ooh, missing medical sucks. We're gonna keep going for it until we get some medical here. Um. Social, intellectual. I do like social and intellectual. Uh. Uh, I'm good, Ginger. I'm good. How are you, buddy? How are you, baby? I want medicine in there, though. I want social, intellectual, and medical. That's what I want to see. Some good numbers along the bottom. Uh, I mean, some of these are pretty good. Intellectual 20. Holy fuck. But not quite what we want. <laughs> like dumb dumb brain well I have great news you can be the other colonist ginger uh okay hang on this is a good one melee medical intellectual all right and then this one we want to have some plant work and some cooking are the big ones that we need here plants and cooking a little bit that's great that's fine uh chemical interest I don't want staggeringly ugly no thanks Steadfast, Jealous Optimist, Ace. Incapable of dumb labor. Immediate out. Jealous? That's fine. We can handle Jealous. Plants is good. Cooking is not good enough. Hmm. Can't cook. Can cook. Nervous. Incapable of violence. I kind of like that, actually. Himboland. Himbodia. Oh, my God. Um, I... Unfortunately, both of these colonists are spoken for, Ginger, but uh, but we can do that at another time for sure. All right, cool. So we are going to have, not Natalia, despite how much that would make uh, Aki happy. This is Grizzly Bear. Uh, and this one is uh, Mistake, which I feel will make Ginger happy anyway. Uh, they're a frightened child and a ginger. Or, sorry, drifter. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Alright, cool. Uh, let's get started. Uh, 
Uh, when a dark stranger offered you a cure for cancer, he made you into a sanguifage, yada yada. No one cares. Alrighty. Normal equipment to have. Grizzly bear, immediately equip that longsword. Um, do we have an allow tool? We do. Beautiful. So good. <laughs> Alright. So... Where should we live? Ooh, this area looks really good. What kind of soil? It's got normal soil. That's actually a really good spot, though. Ooh, this, though, has the good soil. But this is so much more defensive. We're taking this spot. Um, so we'll put our home back here for now. We're going to take some of this uh, wall. Slap that in there. Put a door on that bitch and cut down that tree, and we should be good there. We'll also mine this out a bit. Let's assign a schedule. So, uh, I'm noting that, uh, that, uh, uh, Grizzly Bear now doesn't actually need uh to oh wait what's this dark brown hair skin color okay xeno genes gene implanter ageless deathless perfect immunity oh cool hemogenic hemogenic drain hmm okay uh death rest piercing spine pyrophobia tinder skin mild uv sensitivity okay so, got to keep them out of the out of the uh, sun. So we'll do the same thing we did last time, which is uh, add four hours for recreation to both of them. Mistake will work during the day, uh, and uh, Grizzly Bear will work during the night. Tinder skin. He always sleeps left. <laughs> We could uh, name everyone after mistakes. Oh, work schedules, of course. Uh, firefight, everybody will be a patient. Grizzly Bear is a doctor. Mistake, don't worry about that. You could be a backup doctor. Do some bed rest. Um, I think we'll have Grizzly Bear take care of any children. Uh, don't worry about why. Uh, they will both do that. We'll have Grizzly Bear as the warden. Uh, mistake will be the cook. Mistake will do the construction. We'll grow the food. Um, they will both do mining at low priority. Um, they will both cut plants, but actually, no, mistake will cut plants. Uh, we'll do smithing, tailoring, crafting, like so. All right, there we go. I think that's good. Now, let's see what happens. <coughs> Grizzly Bear is mining already. Beautiful. Good, good. Cut through the stone like a vein. Mistake, what are you doing? You just stopped. Oh, going for a walk because it's recreation time. That makes sense. What are you up to, Grizzly Bear? Also going for a walk. Are you not... Hate that? Yeah, sunlight sensitivity. Alright, well, it gets better. Um, we will slap down a couple sleeping spots here and here. Keep them separated out a bit. I'm also going to make a growing zone immediately, because those potatoes came in late last time. So you are potato. And you know what? We'll make two. We'll make potato and we'll make rice. Because rice grows fast. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, what else we need to do, guys? We need a table. Because the worst thing in the universe is eating without a table. Grizzly bear, good. Grizzly bear is the most important colonist we have. 
Grizzly Bear is vital, I, you could say, to our project here. Yes, Grizzly Bear. Grizzly Bear is uncomfortable, but it is to be expected this early on. Grizzly Bear is in a surprisingly good mood. And also does not need much sleep, damn. Okay, um, let's do some fun construction. So, we're going to start digging out... This is going to be our storeroom. We will cancel that. Mine with this. That'll be our kitchen plus our freezer in there. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. And then we'll do a hallway leading to the bedrooms. And of course, the most important bedroom. Uh, we're going to need an area off this way for workshop. And we'll also need um, an area this way for a rec room. All right, go. <laughs> Grizzly bear will now burrow into the earth like a tick. Look at Grizzly Bear go. Alright, we've got to get this uh, Hemogen pack indoor and the rest of it too, I guess. <laughs> Grizzly Bear straight mining literally on Mistake's head. Just breaking those rocks. I'm gonna want a dumping zone. Okay, and stockpile zone will get started. Okay. <laughs> is, I guess, yeah, Grizzly Bear the Scientist is literally moose. Um, guys, I'm gonna be back in just a moment. I'm just gonna go grab some water, okay? Uh, be right back. I am back. Um, wait. There? Can you guys hear? Yes. Okay, good. Um, scientists are the best people. That's correct, Moose. Yeah, I'm still recovering a little bit, so we need more water. That helps. Um, I'm gonna make someone's primary job hauling. Rare thrombos. Guys, do you wanna get killed by thrombos? We could do that right now. The fuck is that? An ancient bed. What? 
All right, we're gonna start prioritizing some stuff here. Mistake, I will also make your most important job that. Yes, I know we need defenses. Um, I mean, I'm pretty much better now, Ginger. It, it kind of kicked my butt for a week there, but I'm all right now. Um, it interfered with something I was planning to do, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, could be worse. I could be still ill. What are you building, Mistake? Nothing. Okay. We're just expanding this place out. Once I get all this built out, we're going to be in pretty good shape. Assuming I do get this all built out. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you, Ginger. I have the worst luck. Alright, we're gonna expand out this zone now so we can take more stuff. Because we gotta get that hemogen and also medicine inside, but mostly the hemogen. Because um, without it, mistake's gonna be awfully woozy. Here we got some of it inside. <coughs> Let's get it all inside, shall we? Hello there. Good, good. Hello. My man! Oh, that reminds me. I, have, I need to send you something, Hobbs. How's it going, buddy? Hobbity boobs. I think you meant to say hobbity bobs, but I like hobbity boobs better. That's, that's great. I appreciate that. Yeah, could you send my nudes back to me? I want to critique them. I'm a little worried about the composition. <laughs> Man, I love this community. Everyone's having some nice relaxing time. Good for them, you know. Just need to get these two more hemogen packs inside and I'll feel a lot better. Ah, that makes sense, Hobbs. The files would be too large. Wink. Um, yeah, we're playing RimWorld. So, uh, good news, bad news, I got RimWorld to work. Bad news, I didn't get the mods to work, so you can't interfere with RimWorld today. Uh, you will be able to tomorrow, though. But uh, for today, unfortunately, uh, yeah, Ginger, the files are too large because, you know, comp the compression on them is really bad. Can you still do what, Hobbs? I know what's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, I knew that's what was going to happen. I uh, fully anticipated that. Uh, yes, you can still do that, Hobbs. You jerk. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, how much food we got? We got 14 food. That's what? Seven days worth? We should be able to cut these three rooms out in that time. And we do have more food coming. We should be okay. 
we have visitors. Who comes to visit us here in Unnamed Town? Uh, just a heads up, guys. We will have to rename this town, uh, or the faction and the town that we reside in, the settlement. So keep that in mind. You may want to come up with names now. Wrong drink. <coughs> uh, I hear you loud and clear, Ginger. I'll be right over. I'm also going to haul that shit out of here. You know what? Just to be on the safe side. Uh, who is our talky person? Of course it's Grizzly Bear. With a four in social skills, Grizzly Bear is a virtuoso of social skills. Uh, unfortunately, none of them can trade, so it doesn't matter. Uh, thank you, Ginger. I appreciate it. I appreciate being invited into your home. That's very kind of you. Okay, noticing that invite is uh, only directed at Hobbs and Ginger. Uh, okay, cool, very good. Did Mistake take off their pants? Hold up. No. Why do I have blue fur kids' pants? Did they just leave me some kids' pants? FaceTime me and put me on one of those, like, Segway robots so I can, like, follow you around, go to the bar. That'd be a good time. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while, Grizzly Bear thinks you should give your faction a name. What should we name the faction, guys? <laughs> what the Vasha? Washa Teva Asha. Hmm. Neberon. Thaum. Not, not, but Union. Sure. Erinberium Concord. Confederation of Landincus. Haderia. <laughs> Nation of Tewa. Hmm. Guys, what are we naming the faction? I need a name. You're not leaving here until I get a name. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, small chat face. Man, if it wasn't for the fact that there is a camera here, I'd be absolutely insane. <laughs> faction smaction? You got it. All right. Uh, smaction. Smaction. There we go. And what's the town going to be called? We want something that puts people at ease. Something that feels inviting. Specifically so that we can lure people in uh, to <laughs> smack my faction. Oh my god. We want people to be lured in so that they relax and we can get their delicious hemogen. Go away, Tin. Okay. <laughs> Go away, Tin. It is. Welcome to Faction Smaction. Hear it go away, Tin. Please go away, Tin. Okay, we've got ten more days of... Or, uh, five more days of food left. So we're still doing okay. The potatoes haven't grown very much, but the rice is almost halfway. I think we'll be fine. Expand this out. We've got a storage room going. That's great. Slap a door there and a door there. Mistake is building a door. Done. Now we're building the kitchen. This is going to be good. 
Okay, hot take. I say we put the food in the freezer here, but we build a kitchen and dining room. We build the full set, you know what I mean? So that, uh, so that, uh, the pawns don't have to go very far to feast. Oh, speaking of feasting, Grizzly Bear is gonna need a snack soon. Grizzly Bear, why did you go up there to mine all of a sudden? Like, I'm not really complaining, I'm just curious. Also, haul out all that crap. All that crap. Get it all out of here. Just stepping on mistake. Mmm. Hemogen packs. Now you have 69 Hemogen. Nice. Oh, and they're chatting with each other. Aww. They're relaxing socially. They're friends now. Mistake said a word about sweet foods to Grizzly Bear. Grizzly Bear chatted about learning blackjack with Mistake. They spoke about bamboo trees and sweet foods. Mistake said a word about life's annoyances to Grizzly Bear. They chatted about trading chimpanzees. They talked about guilty pleasures, rogues, cute animals, cherry trees, uh, self-replicating machines. Wow. Oh, they even told a joke about wearing sandals. They're so sweet. They're so cute together. I love them. Anyway, back to the mines. There's a solar flare, so, you know, write that down, I guess. Um, so the good news is we have a natural fire break here. So if as long as lightning doesn't strike inside, we'll actually be immune to fire. Oh, thank you, Hobbs. Um, I had to completely, like, I had to delete the device, reinstall it, update drivers, and update my video card drivers. Uh, all of that fixed it. Uh, between that and trying to fix RimWorld, it took two hours after stream last night to figure out what was going on. I agree, Moose. I I love that you two are besties. Uh, don't worry, I will not let Moose eat tea. Unless, like, I have to. In which case, uh, buckle up, tea. You're gonna get eight. But by Moose, though, so it'll be fine. Wait, so for death rest, is the casket? No, it's not, okay. Literally wild. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Hobbs, that sucks. Moose has a fear of eating flesh? Well, not this Moose. This moose fucking loves Hemogen. <laughs> Mining it out. Just working away. Working away the hunger pains. Well... They do have to start worrying about food soon, so that might be a thing. I'm actually going to uh, cancel this out so that they focus on this one first. And then uh, we will fill that back out after. But I want them to build this so that we have our kitchen, dining room, and freezer set up. Minor break risk? Why? Mistake is going to have a breakdown? 
Awful barracks, hideous environment, minor pain, darkness, slept in the cold, on the ground, disturbed sleep, stuck indoors. But aside from all that, why? <laughs> Mistakes, Menti Piera, what? Uh, Alright, let's haul this shit out of here. Uh, we will move Mistake's bed. That should help. I don't know what Menti B era means. Menti B is mental health. Okay, I figured that part out, but B era. Mistake is having a sad wander. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, mental breakdown. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, speaking of, uh, Mistake is just having a sad wander right now. <coughs> Excuse me. I figured it was some form of new age mortal slang. I just didn't know what. Don't worry, Mistake. We're getting all the rocks out of here. I know that's what's really upsetting you. Wow, Mistake is really having a sad wander. Look at this fucking intense-ass sad wander. Oh, uh, Mistake is feeling much better now. Good. Just have a little sad wander, and away they go. No longer wandering in sadness. Grizzly Bear just had a sip of the old uh, red juice. Okay, so, stove, um, butcher table, and then chair, chair, and then we can go wall, door there, door there, that uh where should we go door here yeah we should okay uh and then like this bing bang boom bop uh nope build that here please uh door door actually hang on this door should go here and then New stockpile zone. This is actually going to expand out to here. We will delete that one and expand this one around here. This is for the freezer, so this is only going to be for food. Sorry, I got it. Guys, I can't see what you're saying, so make sure you're only saying good and nice things, okay? Uh, just be kind to each other and everything will be fine. Just be nice and be good and every everything will be good. Um, I'm not looking right now, but I want you to know that uh, that uh, I'm expecting you to be on your best behavior, okay? Okay, be good. Thank you. All right, there we go. So that's all good now. And then we'll go over here and turn off food, drugs, and medicine. And that should do it. All right, you're coming back now. What'd you say? You haven't been kind today, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've, you're always on your best behavior. Um, okay. That's a that's a fun little bit of role playing. Let's try it. Uh oh, I need more food. There we go. You were just having a conversation about lying? Were you, um, perhaps lying in it? Man, I'm so excited to have you guys here. I... I always feel really weird and, like, almost vulnerable when I get, like, sick or something and I have to miss stream. I hate it. Like, I really don't like it at all. 
and it always like worries me a lot like i'll come back and just no one will be here so when i come back and everyone's like oh hey what up i feel like immediately better and like i know it's an irrational fear but like it's still nice that you guys are here <laughs> inspired taming mistake mistake will successfully tame the next thing mistake tries to tame good for mistake you know we're also getting this shithole cleaned up which is good but we're gonna make a big mess of the shithole now We gotta cut through this area to make a uh, one of them um, what you call them workshops. Anyway, yeah, it's just I I appreciate you guys. It's just I just want you to know that. Huh, mistake still isn't loving the uh, the amount of annoyance that's going on here. So we will have to carve this out next. Aw, thank you, T. Jerk. <laughs> Baldy locks. I. You could just say bald. Baldy locks makes it worse somehow. Your mom calls you a jerk too. Well, I feel like there's a there may be a reason for that. Yeah, see, Moose, there you go. You could say Beardy Locks. Beardy Locks is so much kinder because I have a beard and it theoretically could be put into locks. See, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> Ravenously hungry. Oh, fuck, because we haven't made any food in a while. Oh, well, there's some food, so problem solved. Mistake is eating raw rice. Delicious. Crunch, crunch. Gotta eat them little ricey boys. All right, replant all that rice. <laughs> Go the fail one root, beardy baldy. <laughs> all right, listen here, you. Um, Fable would be a good game to play on the channel at some point, I think. Alright, and now with all that rice, we should be able to cook. So let's cook simple meals until we have... Let's say, instead of four, let's do six. Three days each. Mistake be cooking. Low on food, but we have it. That's what's important. A torturer named Joseph is crashing in a transport pod. If he survives, he'll be badly wounded. Uh, Joseph is almost dead. He's a space refugee of garbage toxers. He's got minor as... Wow, look at this fucking guy. Okay, hang on. He's got a bite scar on his neck. He has dementia of the brain, cataracts in both eyes, a stab scar on the torso, which is just frail. He's got a savage right arm scratch that is bleeding out. Uh, he's got asthma in both lungs and a bad back. This guy might just straight up be food. Um, if we could build a thing to capture him in really quickly, uh, he, he might be kind of glorious to have his dinner uh so let's do that sleeping spot in here uh that should be good <laughs> that's all he needs right a muffalo has gone mad oh that's really bad those can really fuck up your home or your your people mistake no okay uh grizzly bear i'm gonna need you to go fight that muffalo uh, hit it with a good old piercing spine. Done. The muffalo is down. 
You just eat your week? I mean, sometimes. Yeah, if I'm hungry. Okay. Oh good, Mistake got some medical treatment. And some food, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you, anonymous gifter, that's very kind. Congratulations, Shatter, enjoy the sub. Uh, all right, so who's our doctorb? Uh, Mistake, can you please tend to uh, Grizzly Bear? Thank you. Is that a no? I guess that's a no. Grizzly Bear is fine. Okay, never mind. What a loot? What? Uh, Grizzly Bear is really eating through that chemo gen. Oh, is the guy dead? He's probably dead by now, right? No, he's still alive. For the next 13 hours, he's going to survive. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, woot -a loot It's excitement phrase. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Um, there are a colony of uh, sanguophages. His grocery list of injuries, the only thing he'd be better, really good for is a dartboard. 100%. <clears throat> He'd be a really good dartboard, though. Hey, Mistake, can you prioritize the jail cell? No reason. Thanks, Mistake. Appreciate you. Wait. But there's more jail cell to make. Ugh. Go make more. And we Gucci. All right. Um, this is now for prisoners. Um, Grizzly Bear, I need you to go make us a friend. Capture Joseph. Who is looking not great. Extreme blood loss. Okay. Uh, capture fast. <laughs> That's not very fast. Four hours till he's dead. Uh, Grizzly bear tended him. Great, he won't die now. <laughs> Guess what, Joseph? Welcome to fucking getting turned into a blood bank. Or a forbidden piata, pinata, extra points if you hit him so hard you fix his back. What the fuck? All right. Uh, what do we need to fix this? Oh, we need more wood. Okay. Well, the good news is we're almost done uh, cutting up this room. Need literally one more bit of work, but I mistimed something. How you feeling, Joseph? The blood loss is getting better. Got a little bit of uh, malnutrition, but that's all right. Oh, he's sanguine. <laughs> oh my God, you can't you you can't make this shit up, uh, Joseph. I'm renaming you. <laughs> um, can I rename you? Hang on. I might not be able to. No, because he's not a colonist. I love that he's blue, by the way. He, oh, because he's a high mate. What does that mean? He's psi sensitive, psychic bomb bonding. He's sanguine. He's got a heat weakness. His violence is disabled. He's got a kind instinct. He's delicate. He's got blue skin, snow white hair, thin body, long hair. He's beautiful. He's got a high libido. Oh. Uh, cool. That's hilarious. <laughs> all right, all that's done. Mistake is working on the last thing. Yeah, this guy is hot. 
uh, he's actually quite hot and delicate, and and I cannot make stress this enough. Sanguine. <laughs> Oh, we are going to eat the fuck out of this guy. <laughs> Wait, major break risk? Why? Mistake, what's wrong? Ravenously hungry. Well, then go eat, you dumb fuck. Mistake is eating raw food. Okay, good good talk, mistake. Um, butcher creatures forever. Go cut up that delicious muffalo. He's a total babe, an absolute snack. Look at all that meat, cook it up. Okay, um, now we're gonna need bedrooms. So we'll now start mining out this. go that should help oh joseph you silly billy how you feeling buddy severe blood loss as that goes down we're gonna we're gonna put it back up after a bit because um i got a hunger <laughs> We're gonna move the table in here, I think. Like, here? Put a new door in there. We're also gonna move this chair here, and this chair here. Wait. Reinstall at here, there we go. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more Joseph. The vegetarian and the human flesh fear both have characters that eat things. Yes, that is correct. That is 100% correct. We've got a major break risk now. Mistake, you need to calm your dick. Mistake just needs a room, is really all it is. Oh, a Psychic Soothe for f all females. That's great. That immediately fixes the break risk issue. Grizzly beer, <laughs> a fever to feed on his lever. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Lavana's characters tended to be like psychopathic, uh, psychopathic pyros who uh, were apparently very accurate as well. It's 23 degrees inside. Jesus. Um, we need to start doing research. I guess we need basics first and then research. But still. It would be nice. Alright, we got enough food together now. Potatoes are almost grown. doors all throughout the place. Everything's turning out pretty good. This run, not so cursed. So far? He said desperately. How's your blood doing, Joseph? I mean, how are you doing, Joseph? It's got... A little bit of heat stroke, because it's 34 degrees in his room. I, very cool. Well, here, here, how about this? I'll give you a vent, Joseph. How's that sound? <laughs> give him a vent, he'll be fine. Adds flavor like a slightly spicy Caesar. Oh my god. 
We are definitely going to eat him. Um, so check this out. We can do an operation on him to extract some hemogen. Oh, there's going to be a raid. Food is coming right now. They're attacking immediately. There's only one of them, Eva, and she's got a knife. All right, well, we'll, we'll wait till she gets over here, and then we'll stab her a lot, and then eat her as well. <laughs> Good talk. Grizzly bear, bear's just relaxing socially, you know, as you do. Wait, are you coming to rescue Joseph? Where are you? Where'd she go? She didn't get killed, did she? <laughs> she totally did. Hilarious. Um, <clears throat> she walked into the insect nest and died. Actually, you know what? I don't want to go to the insect nest. Let's, let's forbid all this shit. She could just stay there. Hilarious. The raid that dealt with itself. Mistake be cooking over here. That's great. Gonna have potatoes soon. Joseph, are you dead yet? No, nah, he's fine. Guess it's time to extract some hemogen. Um, we gotta give him better medicine, though. We'll give him an okay amount of medicine. <laughs> Put him back in his in his little Betty by. All right, who's the doctor that's going to be working on him? Oh, mistake is very good. Thanks, mistake. Gotta get that hemogen. Got a couple of it. How's he feeling? Got moderate blood loss. He's all right. And we got a bit more of the red stuff. That's wonderful. Some of the muffalo meat rotted away. That's not great, but we're okay. We got potatoes starting to grow, so we're in good shape. Mine out the new bedrooms. That'll fix a lot of the uh, mental breakdown issues. This colony is going great, guys. Honestly, very happy with how it's turning out. Uh, we've got food. We've got, you know, we've got a little bit of food saved up. Um, we've got food. <laughs> a little bit of food uh, right here. Uh, psychic Soothe is ending, so people are going to start having fucking mental breakdowns, but that's okay. Um, as long as we can deal with this who has asthma oh that's um that's a uh, blood bank over here uh blood bank has or sorry <laughs> my bad joseph has asthma cataracts dementia um a bad back they're generally frail got a bunch of scars also they're a torturer so i feel absolutely nothing about subjecting him to this sort of living How you feeling, Mistake? Not great, but not as bad. Alright, so up here we're gonna need two things. A research bench and a stone cutter's table. We are also gonna need to make chairs for them. We are also gonna also also gonna need a uh, Thorsh in this room. It would also help to have a Thorsh in this room. And Mistake is hiding in her room, which is also all of the space. I uh, will put a cooler in there. Um, chunks of spaceship just fell down. Not too far away. 
All right. We are going to have to cut this steel out. So that's not ideal, but oh well. We also need more wood. We almost cut all the steel out of the valley here. Or all the wood, rather. Not steel. Silly me. Silly Billy. Where did you go, Grizzly Bear? Oh, probably to feed Joseph. Who's throwing up an awful lot. What's up? Cramped. It's dark. It's hot. At least he doesn't have a heat stroke anymore. <laughs> Her name is not Billy? What? Are you saying because I was saying silly Billy? I was calling myself a Billy? Okay, and with that all done now, we do this, this, and get all of this crap out of here. <coughs> and with all the. <clears throat> Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry. With all that done. <clears throat> we'll be able to build bedrooms, which is going to be pretty big. I'm sure Mistake will appreciate that. Oh, hey, guess what? Uh, Joseph is ready for uh, a little uh, sucky-wucky. Nom 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 nom. How you doing, Joseph? He did not love that. Ah, he'll be fine. Please never say what again? That he'll be fine? But he will be fine. I actually don't need these ship chunks broken up yet. I guess I will break one down, but we don't need more than that. Oh, the potatoes are ready. Nice. That he's ready for a little sucky wucky? What's wrong with that? He was. He had an, a good amount of blood and he was ready for some sucky wucky he was. What? <laughs> the wife just heard that. Wife, uh, the guy that I was, uh, that, do you want to see what I'm doing, dear? Not wearing pants. Oh, okay. Uh, so, playing RimWorld, they just added, uh, sanguophages. No points for guessing what that means. Vampire. Um, and I've got a guy who uh, crash landed near me that's got dementia, cataracts in both eyes, uh, frail torso, asthma in both lungs, and a bad back. That sounds like me. Guess who? what I'm using him for. Your wife. No, I am not using him for my wife, dear. It sounds just like me, though. It's not. No, I have him locked in a small windowless room. Uh, with nothing but a vent, and I am uh, giving him a little sucky wucky when he gets full of blood. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wife, man. You guys believe her? <laughs> yeah, the suck room. That's right, T. He's in the sucktorium. Uh, uh, Hobbs, what did you say? Wife is S tier. That is correct. That is actually a big part of why I married her. Let's uh, mine out this gold so that I can expand the the suck room. I'm surprised he's not having a me uh, a mental breakdown considering his circumstances hmm. 
well, good for him, you know? Live your best life, or in this case, this life. As soon as that blood loss goes away, you know what time it's gonna be. Having a nice therapeutic Menti B. Well, he's not. That's kind of the thing. Like, you'd expect him to, but he's actually, you know, all things considered, he's all right. Oh, it's very hot in there. How's he feeling? A little warm, but he's okay. A Menti buildup, I guess? Yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of just, he's, you know, he's in his lane chill vibing he's simply living his best oh look there's a bear <laughs> oh look at all this food we got going this is great why is there a split eat here oh fuck because there's now a nest right next to us that's really bad okay structure steel wall Yeet, yeet. Close that shit off. Forced weather and Riku. A seven-year-old child named Riku Marquez is calling for help. He's hiding from a malfunctioning weather control satellite. When he joins you, the weather will be rainy thunderstorm for 9.8 days until the satellite resets. Hmm. Do we want a kid? Do we want to have kids, guys? What do you think? Do we want to have children here at this lovely colony? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, why not, Hobbs? All right, let's mine out the death sleep room. Yes, more food. Oh, there are two kinds of people. Mistake is hiding in a room. Okay. You know, mistake, if you got up, you could have a better room. <laughs> That's a pretty big commitment. You and I aren't that serious. Oh, my God. A heat wave for Amy. Amy Kaiser, a duchess of the refugee empire, wants to perform a low-power test of one of her ship's area attack weapons. Uh, would have a heat wave for 7.2 days. Fuck no. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Children are fun? We'd have to make a kid's room. I don't know. If we had one more adult, I think we should do it. But as it stands, I'm actually thinking we pass. Um, because it's just... It's a little much for us right now. We're barely surviving as is. <laughs> oh, look. They're, they're chatting with each other. How's your social? Oh, they're good. Mistake and, uh, and, uh, Grizzly Bear. Fucking besties. Um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, no. <laughs> Don't plan on having my own, so they'll stay fun forever. That's a, that's, yep. Fair enough. A chunk of uranium just fell out of the fucking sky landed right there. Oh, also there's a fire, but it's outside our natural fire break, so we should be fine. Bob! Hi, Bob! Hello! Bob the Bobster. Please finish that wall. Thank you, mistake. That makes me feel a little bit better. Now we have to do the same thing over here. Um, more steel wall. Really seal in those, uh, those insects so they can't get out. I think they can tunnel out, actually, but uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take. It's better than just leaving them to be wide open. Why was Grizzly Bear running away there? What was up with that? Hmm. He was a very grumpy grocery 
delivery helper. What did he, what, what did he do? There's a big torso here. Who ordered the big torso? Gotta harvest the rice, harvest the potato, replant everything. Oh, Joseph can walk. Now he can't. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, no walking for you. <laughs> grizzly bear like he just he, joseph is like oh I, I guess i should take a look around and see what's going on and oh hi oh fuck <laughs> uh he was just being very four when he helped put away the stuff ah, i see on a cuter side he likes pretending to scan the items as he takes them off his truck before handing them to me for storage that's cute that's adorable he is very cute. He definitely, he's definitely a handful sometimes, but he's, he's very cute. I like Bub. Uh, 10 out of 10 would Bub again. Yeah, see, we need more adults. We just, we have too much work. We need to distribute the workload a little bit. Gotta scan them, beep boop, beep boop. That's adorable. <laughs> sensory mechanites. Grizzly Bear and Joseph both have sensory mechanites. That's not ideal. Uh, Joseph, you you don't get you don't get medicine anymore. You're gonna use up all our good medicine. <laughs> Poor Joseph. What's wrong? What do you mean? What do you mean, poor Joseph? He's living his best life. Look, he's very sanguine. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, no, Hobbs. We uh, we d didn't uh, we didn't uh, keep playing it. People weren't really interested. <laughs> One of those was stream casualties, unfortunately. Plus, there was that lag problem that was really bad. Like, really bad. In one of the main story areas, too. Thank God. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Glad you like that I abandoned it. <laughs> it was cool, but also pouring AF? What do you mean, pouring? Oh, God damn it, the potatoes are on fire game was interesting. Okay. Potatoes, stop being on fire. Thank you. Oh, boring. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so, guys? <laughs> Pre-roasting. Yeah, I agree. It was it was pretty nice visually. I it just um I got the feeling that people weren't into it. Oh, Hobbs, absolutely say so. Hobbs, you especially actually. You're the video guy. Tell me. There's a reason I only played uh Why did it give you the ick T? Was it the time period or Yeah, that's basically how I feel about it, Moose. Like, um, Lovecraftian horror can be really cool when it's an exploration of, like, things beyond our reckoning. But, like, uh, Guy was real racist. <laughs> like, we don't need that in our, in our Lovecraftian horror, you know? <laughs> it's better just to include things like um, 
the way it was exp uh, the way cosmic horror was explained to me is imagine you're an ant with all of the capacity an ant has for thinking and you're walking along um, a circuit board and you're just an ant so it's just lines on a green thing for you um, but then for one brief moment you get picked up by something and you see the whole circuit board and understand how it works you, you briefly have full knowledge of how the electricity travels through it and how everything connects up together and makes the circuit board work and then you're put back down and you're just an ant again and you know that you knew how it all worked and the world that you now live on uh, live in is smaller and less full than the world that it actually is and the the fact that you can't reconcile those two things because you're an ant drives you to madness that's cosmic horror <coughs> yeah t i was a little worried about it uh as well so like i uh i know i know what you what you're talking about it didn't come up in the game itself so i was leery of it but it didn't actually happen um if it had come up in game i would have been like i right, we're out oh grizzly bear don't just don't just eat some blood packs go eat some joseph your favorite om nom nom Ooh, and we're going to use gold for the doors here. Oh, we don't have enough. Never mind. <coughs> um, steel, I suppose. And then the death rest casket. Oh, no, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh, wait. No, I haven't. Nice. We'll put this back here. Gotta get some of that Joe's box. Okay, fair enough, T. I didn't notice that, but obviously I'm less sensitive to that sort of thing than you are. Um, not because I'm I'm not trying to make it sound like you're especially sensitive to it, but obviously you'd be more aware than I am. <clears throat> Mistake, what you doing? make it you botched the casket oh that sucks so hard that takes components man fuck oh that's a real kick in the dick it's a real kick in the cock don't botch it please thank you oh it needs power interesting okay um <laughs> So we'll grab that, and I think we'll also grab... Well, we gotta do power now, so let's queue up some research. Uh, batteries, please. Wait. Research. Batteries, please. Okay, well, this colony is starting to go well. I think that since it's going well, we'll probably leave it here for now. Um, and then we'll pick it back up tomorrow. I will make sure that the, uh, the Twitch integration mod is uh, set up and ready to go. And we'll see how the colony does when it's under your guys' control, shall we? Eight people and fish immigrants are very, very on the nose. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. The eight person one, actually, I did notice and I was a little like, uh, I don't know about that. The fish people one is mostly like, they're not really immigrants. They're fucking monsters. Like, I guess, no. Yeah, I see your point. Uh, Innsmouthers are meant to be like fish people from a small town that you go visit and they've lived there for like 
for like uh, 20, 50, 100 years, and they're very clearly up to something very evil. But I, I do see how it could be a race thing, yeah. Oh, that sucks. I... Aw. Uh... Well, at any rate, guys, uh, we're not going to go back to that game, so don't worry about it. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. Uh, so the plan is to have the, the Twitch integration set up for tomorrow so we can see what kind of shenanigans we'll get up to. Um, I'm gonna go for today. Uh, guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate you all so very, very much. It means a lot to me that you guys are here. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, like I said, at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and let me just check on something here. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I appreciate you, as always. And until next time, kibbles. <laughs>